Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. And Zoe purring so loudly, I really can't get over it. I would pick her up, but, um, I just finished doing my nails. So, I'll show those to you, but while I'm showing you the nails, I like these better. They're like tattoo things that go on. Like you peel something off, and then you put them on, and then you hold water on the back, and then you peel it off, and there they are. It doesn't come off with nail polish remover either, ladies and gentlemen. It comes off with, like, a baby oil or something like that. So, these I find to be more effective and long-lasting. All right, that's not why I'm coming at you. I'm coming at you to let you know that I will be going live tomorrow. We're celebrating uh, cloudy sunshine here in the lounge at 1230 Eastern. Mother and I covered uh, the Pumpkin Fest parade today. We Clearly, Mother didn't cover it, but we went... And it got rained out for the most part. I didn't wasn't able to get that many photos. We got to stay in Edna, though, because we parked rather illegally behind some people at the Presbyterian Church. And, um... Trying to hold my trouble light in place. And, um, I was able to, like, leap out when need be and get some pictures. But because of that, I thought, well, it's going to rain all day. I'm not going to be able to cover the rest of the festival. And then it got nice out, but I had already kind of in my mind decided that I'm going to go over tomorrow. So after the live gig tomorrow, we'll be heading over to the fest in order to get some more pictures. Every year what I do is a um, collage, uh, like a full page color collage of various aspects of the Pumpkin Fest. A lot of it is usually the parade. Different events. It's really different now, though, ladies and gentlemen. It used to have more festivities unfolding on a regular basis like they still do this giant pumpkin drop where they drop like an 1100 pound pumpkin onto a car the car's already been stripped and it was going to go to the um junkyard anyway but you know what i'm saying people decorate the cars and it's a big thrill i don't really see the thrill in it but it draws a lot of people to the area and it's you know i guess exciting in some way i don't know i've never understood it but that's okay i'm in the minority evidently and then they used to have a pet parade. Joe the Pony and I used to lead the pet parade every year. First year, I dressed up. I, actually, I, my picture was in the Tribune and whatnot. Anyhow, I used to just uh, lead the parade in a costume, and then Joe was also in the one, Joe the Pony. And they used to have this pet contest every year. I think I don't think I was a judge ever, or was I? I might have been a judge one time. But at any rate, evidently you're not allowed to have the pet thing in the park anymore. So they haven't had it in several years. One year they had these lady lumberjack type, lady lumberjanes, I think they called them. And that was really neat because every hour or something they would do a little show. Really interesting jazz. And what else did they have? A celebrity cow milking contest. I signed Mother up one year. She was on a trip. It was my first pumpkin fest home. And what you did was you signed somebody up who was, like, least the least likely person, you know, to milk a cow. <clears throat> and mother, of course. Come on, mother. So I went around and gathered donations. I, I raised $100, and it went to Special Olympics, I believe. Yeah, I think that was the charity. So anyhow, mother milked a cow. It's just not as, as thrilling, I don't think. It's just like vendors, 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 food, vendors, vendors, food. Vendors, vendors, food. Yeah, vendors, vendors, food. <laughs> While I have you, forgot to tell you, Judith M. Villeneuve, Maine, sent me the most beautiful things. Here's a card. It's the envelope. Gosh, so, do you want to say a little? Lot? Let me see if I can get her. I think these are dry enough. Fickle. Now she's walking off. Okay. Here's the front of the envelope. And here's the back. It was in other stuff because she sent me something. I'll show it to you in a minute. Then you open it up. Adorable. Oh, I didn't read the back. Um, paper can be made from any plant fiber, not just trees. We use tree-free alternatives like Kenaf, K-E-N-A-F, whenever possible. And then it goes on about what's in it. <clears throat> Maybe I'll read the whole thing tomorrow. I'm already going way overboard. Dear Lisa, last time Joe and I went to the beach, I looked for some shells to turn into jewelry for you. I wanted to make you a necklace with the colors of sand and sea as a way to say thank you for the low presents you sent like when she we did her birthday thank you so much lots of love i think i might have to pause 
Zoe, I thought she fell down over there, but she ended up on the floor and she's all peppy and wanting to be fed, so I gave her some food. I think she did kind of slip off that area, though. Where was I? Uh, uh, thank you so much. Lots of love, Judith M. Villeneuve. Sending you a tiny piece of Maine. So these shells are from the beaches of Maine, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I have a little tattoo thing here as well. And she made this. Like, look at it. How can you avoid looking at it? I'm totally showing it to you. Yeah, isn't that delightful? That might be helpful. Judith, and see all those twists? Such an interesting woman. Very interesting gal, as Mother would say. So that's from Judith M. Villeneuve. Man, I was going to show you tomorrow. I probably still will show people tomorrow. I think that's all, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry. Reflections of the way the Pumpkin Fest used to be. I don't know. It's okay. It draws a lot of people. Don't get me wrong, but it's... I liked it when they had the different... Different... Um, events and things, and especially the pet costume contest. It was so cute to see Labradors dressed up like ballerinas and horses dressed as whatever. It was just fun and neat. I miss those days. You know, I often reminisce about how the way things used to be. Reflections of the way life used to be. Uh, lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. Join me, join others. Drop your political identities. Let's focus on issues. Leave labels at the door. Research before you judge. And remember, war is a racket. Don't take my word for it. Check out General Smedley Butler and what he had to say. While I have you. I've been um, really getting into this guy on YouTube. He has a channel. It's, I've been getting into him for a while, but I just didn't want to say anything. There's certain things I keep to myself. I know it's hard to believe. Um... His, he has a channel called The Observation Deck. He just goes into all kinds of interesting stuff, ladies and gentlemen, about history and what's being kept from us and ancient structures and free energy and all kinds of jazz. It is really neat. I don't know why I look so pained and worried telling you this. You know I look into things all the time. It's really fun. I mean, I look at it this way. There's an establishment. Do you think that stops in politics only? No. I think there's a scientific establishment. There's a, like a, an education establishment. Anybody who steps off the mainstream talking point, well, even when you're in a field as a professor, for example, you're ostracized. You can't get anywhere. You're often demonized for a different approach or for coming to a different conclusion and not going along with the consensus. So I tend to raise an eyebrow a lot about almost everything. I turned to Mother today in Edna the van and said, I'm not sure we're really here. And she said, oh, Lisa, don't get that deep. So, okay, I'm done. Love you. See you tomorrow at 1230 here in the lounge, live 1230 Eastern here in the belly of the beast. Bye.